What's up everybody, Drumming Gaming here. So a couple of people have recently asked me on Twitch and on the YouTube comments uh, if I could show off my PlayStation 4 game collection because, you know, I think I made it very clear that I bought all my PS4 games uh, digitally. I don't at the moment own any physical PS4 games. So yeah, I mean, uh, the PS4 has been out for over a year already. I've, I've bought quite a lot of games and I thought, you know, it might be a good idea to show you exactly what I've got. Um, these are not all my games because, you know, the hard drive already got kind of full so I constantly have to delete games um, but yeah let's just go through my uh, actual library all the games I own on the PlayStation 4 we start off with a couple here uh, Ares Awakening, Apotheon, I haven't played these ones they're simply from PS Plus there's a lot of PS Plus games that I own that I have yet to really try out uh, we get to Assassin's Creed for Black Flag I think this was really the comeback of the franchise for me, I loved Black Flag it was a launch game on the PS4, really really enjoyed it uh, AC Unity of course came out pretty recently, pretty buggy and stuff but nonetheless it was a decent AC game I would say uh, Battlefield 4 still if you ask me it's it's like the most next-gen game on the PS4 with 64 players 60 frames a beautiful graphics this is my you know personal go-to shooter and the one I would uh, most recommend to you know people to get if, if you're looking for a good first-person shooter on your PS4 then there's Bloodborne here came out very recently been uh, enjoying it a lot you can check out my review of course uh, the Heart Battlefield Hardline here this is actually the beta I do not own the game myself so uh, yeah um, I don't know why that's on here by the way because it has a different beta file but uh, I can guarantee you I do not own Battlefield Hardline so I have no idea what exactly this is doing here but uh, yeah whatever Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, a great Call of Duty game that I've actually been enjoying quite a bit uh, you know the exosuit all that kind of stuff I like it I think they are good additions that you know change the formula up a little bit um, at least you know for now because I do feel like you know maybe in the future it shouldn't be used anymore but it's always nice when they at least try something new and so uh, I wouldn't say the exosuit is something that I want to stay there forever uh, but nonetheless it was fun this time around because I got kind of tired of the formula. Child of Light I've yet to really play this honestly because um, yeah I put maybe a couple of hours into it it has a great style and stuff it's not really my type of game a JRPG uh, nonetheless I do own it. Dead Nation Apocalypse I think this was PS Plus same counts for Counter Spy haven't really personally played these games a lot uh, Dead Nation a little bit Counter Spy I have yet to try out. Contrast was a PS Plus game at launch which uh, I got halfway through I think nothing special there uh, Destiny came out last year of course you all know you know what the game is like um, it actually made kind of a comeback for me personally because you know in the beginning I beat the game I uh, put around 10 hours into it and then I felt kind of done with it to be honest with you but I went back to it and um, just seeing how awesome it is to to try and get all the loot and to get to the max level I had a lot of fun uh, you know making my sort of comeback at Destiny uh, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it to a lot of people. Don't Starve was PS Plus in, I think, the second month. Same counts for Dust. As you can see, there's just a lot of PS Plus games. Like, I got two a month, I'm pretty sure. So, by, you know, by now, that means around 25 games in total. So, quite a bit. Drive Club, I got very recently. And I've actually been enjoying it more than I thought I would. It's a very fun race, racing game with a lot of content at the same time. You know, many tracks and uh, overall challenges for you to do. So, I'm actually really enjoying it at the moment. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, now this is a game that I put maybe 10 hours into and I still really really want to play it because I enjoy Dragon Age 1 and 2 so much but Inquisition I didn't really have the time to really invest into it when I play this game I want to be able to play it for hours on you know straight after each other and simply not take a break for a long time so I feel like I'm still gonna wait a little bit until I really get to play uh, Dragon Age so Dying Light got it very recently as well um, you know still have yet to really play it honestly but uh, a cool kind of like zombie game with parkour elements of course uh, let's see escape plan I don't know exactly if I got this with PS Plus I'm pretty sure because I haven't played it yet uh, same kind of counts for Fez only played it for a couple of uh, you know like half an hour maybe um, it's a cool game but yeah I just haven't really been able to uh, to really play it a lot Far Cry 4 you know my you know opinion on it I did a review last year um, Thought it was kind of repetitive maybe, you know, repeating what Far Cry 3 did. Nonetheless, a pretty cool game. Uh, this is the Evolve Alpha, D don't have that game. FIFA, I never buy those games, I just uh, play the demos. Uh, Flower is a PS3 game that I just got for free because I already owned it there. Let's see, Hotline Miami 2, wrong number, uh, which I got I think last month. Uh, I have also yet to play that, honestly. I, I have so many games that I still really want to play. Hotline Miami is, um, I, I feel like, you know, I played the first game, I enjoyed it, didn't think it was that special. 
special, like many people praised it. I didn't personally think it was as amazing as most people made it out to be. Hotline Miami 2, I kind of feel like it's more of the same. So yeah, I don't know exactly if I'm going to play it a lot. Hohokam, I think, is the PS Plus game for this month. So, you know, yet to play that as well. Infamous Second Son and Infamous First Light, I think, are great games. A lot of fun to play. They just kind of lack content. So you can get through them in maybe, you know, 10 hours for Second Son and 5 hours for First Light. And then, you know, you almost already have the Platinum for both. So I enjoyed playing them. I just thought they, um, you know, they didn't really live up in terms of that I simply didn't play them that long. Whereas Infamous 1 and 2, surely I got more content out of it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Injustice, I'm not a fan of fighting games, was PS Plus as well, so I haven't played that, honestly. Little Big Planet 3 is a game that um, I feel also is more of the same. If you enjoy Little Big Planet, then you're definitely going to enjoy Little Big Planet 3 as well. I certainly did play through the campaign and, the, you know, some of the community levels. It's great fun, um, but nonetheless, I already owned uh, LBP 1 and 2, so I just kind of felt like I was getting... Uh, a little bit tired of the formula, honestly. Kills on Shadowfall, great shooter. It was a launch game on the PS4. Been enjoying that uh, ever since launch. And um, yeah, it's been a while since I played it. But in the time that I've played it, I've definitely been enjoying myself. Let's see, Mercenary Kings is PS Plus. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes is a game that, you know, many people uh, criticize for lacking content, honestly. Me, myself, I feel like, yeah, it does, you know, lack a lot of, uh, a lot of missions. It only has like five of them, I think. But then again, you can surely get at least 10 hours out of it, so I've been enjoying myself playing it. Minecraft I got pretty recently, not my type of game, honestly. I've been playing it for a bit. Had fun, sure, but, uh, you know, I, I still enjoy uh, other games a little more. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, hands down a game I would totally recommend to you all, of course. Was my game of the year of 2014. Had great fun playing that. I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings, and this is just, you know, a dream come true for fans of the, you know, of the franchise like me, because this is an awesome game set in a universe that I already loved. Uh, Never Alone and have yet to play that Nidhogg is an awesome indie game, great competitive co-op game um, that I would totally recommend to all of you because yeah, it's it just it's so unique and awesome. Outlast, the horror game which I got three quarters of the way through. Uh, I have yet, I have not beaten it actually at the moment but uh, nonetheless was a cool horror game, it's just not really my type of game. Oli Oli 2, super addictive indie game, skateboarding game at the same time. Um, yeah, just great fun to play honestly. I got the Platinum within a week and really really been enjoying myself playing that. Uh, Oddworld New and Tasty, I think that's also PS Plus, haven't played it. The PT demo, of course, which uh, I'm lucky I still own on the PS4 because you can't, you know, download it anymore, unfortunately, because the, uh, the game got cancelled. Pix the Cat, Pixel Junk Shooter, I haven't really played these. Pixel Junk Shooter, actually, I have played for a bit, which was also quite fun. Resogun, great game that was free at launch, uh, of course, and um, yeah, just, just totally something I would recommend to you. A lot of fun to play. And the same counts for Rayman Legends, man, that is a game that I, I recommend to literally all of you. I think it's pretty much the Mario on the PS4, you know, if you're looking for a great platforming game that's a lot of fun to play, then Rayman Legends is totally the game you're looking for. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies was free at some point, haven't really play that though many people say it's a really really good game uh, let's see road not taken rogue legacy secret ponchos all uh, ps plus games that i haven't played i recently got shovel knight a great platforming game that's 16-bit style um, yeah, I heard many good things. I've been playing it for a bit now, and it's definitely living up to that. It's a, it's a lot of fun to play. And Sound Shapes is a weird, a weird uh, sort of platforming game also that um, kind of like adds more uh, sort of like sound effects and more instruments as, as you know, the, the more you pretty much get through it and activate new things. I can't really remember it. It's been a while since I, uh, you know, since I played that game. Sports Friend, I have no idea what the hell this game is. Uh, Spelunky, I haven't played. Steam will dig, stick it to the man and strider. All PS Plus games, I think, that uh, I honestly haven't really played much. Played a bit of stick it to the man, I know, which was uh, pretty cool, but yeah, nothing really too special for me personally. Binding of Isaac is a great, great game that was also free on PS Plus, I'm pretty sure, for the Vita, so you got it for the PS4 at the same time. Uh, yeah, a game where you're trying to survive as long as you can. Um, all in all, Definitely something I would recommend to you. I think it's one of the examples why some indie games can definitely be really good. Uh, Last of Us Remastered, the best game on the PS4 in my opinion. Um, that is provided if you haven't played it on the PS3. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it to you because it's just the same game but in uh, 60 frames per second. Order 1886 had a lot of fun playing that as well, but it was just very short. 15 hours and I got through it. I was done with it, got the platinum, so nothing really much to say there. Uh, let's see, Playroom, The Swapper, Unfinished Swan. 
Uh, Swapper, I think, PS Plus, yeah. Unfinished Swan is also PS Plus, I think, but I actually got it before that and um, haven't beaten it, but it was also, you know, super unique and stuff. So then we get to Tower of Guns and Titan Attacks PS Plus Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, which, you know, is just awesome. For Uncharted fans like me, you're gonna enjoy this game so much. It's a, it's a great action-adventure game, you know, of course, starring uh, Lara Croft and all in all, just great, great, um, you know, to play through and has a... You know, I, I think the story is definitely the weak side. The gameplay, however, however is, uh, you know, just purely awesome and something I, I really enjoyed and would totally recommend to you uh, for sure, especially if you like Uncharted games, of course. Towerfall Ascension uh, is, I think, yeah, it's this kind of, um, you know, platforming game in one area where you're also trying to uh, kill enemies which are bow. You can play it in co-op. Had, you know, had quite a lot of fun playing it, but wasn't really too special, honestly. Uh, Transistor, I have yet to really play that. Only played the first level. Trial of Fusion, however, is, uh, you know, great. I feel like I'm, I'm definitely repeating uh, by saying that all these games are so much fun to play, but I think Trials Fusion is really the example of that. Just a fun game because it's that 2D, uh, you know, motorbike sort of gameplay where you're trying to uh, stay in balance and stuff. Yeah, I bought this game when it came out and I'm still playing it to this day because it is so great. Uh, Valiant Hearts is a super unique game taking place in the, uh, is it the first? Uh, yeah, it's the first World War um, with an awesome style. You feel like you're playing a comic book or whatever. I think this was also free with PS Plus recently, though I did get it before that. Uh, trying 2, Velocity 2X, both PS Plus. I played a bit of Velocity. Um, yeah, definitely a good game. Uh, and then Watch Dogs is, I think, the final game on the list right here, which um, personally I feel is a little underrated. Too many people hate on it because it isn't the most next-gen game out there, which many people, you know, thought it would be. But nonetheless, I think it's an awesome game that can totally live up to the standards that even GTA 5 has set. To me personally, I had more fun playing playing uh, Watch Dogs than I had playing GTA 5, honestly, myself. Uh, so yeah, I would totally recommend it to all of you. And then that was my whole library. I mean, you can see that if people say hashtag PS4 has no games, that uh, yeah, I feel like it's just a little unjustified to say that because I've got so many games already that I truly, truly enjoyed. Many of them I've yet to really play uh, because I simply didn't get around to it because I was so busy playing some of these other games. So let me know in the comments, what games do you own on a PS4? What are you playing? to get in the future uh, and what are you looking forward to and then you know for now this was my ps4 game collection hope you enjoyed it and then i'd like to thank you a lot for watching hope to see you again next time